welcome trailblazers in today's tutorial where i will be showing you how to create a roll up where it may not be possible in certain situations an object simply does not support a roll up or the relationship does not permit it in this case we are going to make it possible using a package called declarative lookup rollup summaries this package is free and it currently lives in github so we will be posting the, the github page in the video description when you access the github page you're going to scroll down and here you're going to find two URLs for the latest version, one for production and one for a sandbox. I highly recommend you install this in a sandbox first, test it once everything looks okay, then go ahead and install this in production. So I already have this installed on in my personal dev org, so I'm going to show you how to create a rollup using this package. So now that we're in Salesforce, today's example will be creating a rollup on the user object, summing those opportunities that are closed one for the current year. So we're going to basically show the annual revenue of each user right on the user object. So let's go ahead and create that field by going into setup. We're going to go into object manager. We're going to search for user and click on the user object. So go to fields and relationships, and we're going to create a new field. Notice how the rollup summary selection is grayed out because I'm not currently able to create a rollup based on the object model, the relationships, etc. So it's simply grayed out. But using this package, I am going to create a rollup. So in this case, I'm going to create a regular currency field. I'm going to name this annual revenue. I'm going to give it a length of 16 with two decimal places. It is going to be visible for everybody and I'm only going to put this on the user layout for now. Let's hit save. So now the field has been created as you can see. I'm going to show you by accessing the users that the field is on the layout and that it is currently blank. Notice the field annual revenue, it is currently blank because it is not, it's not an actual rollup, rather it's a currency field that we're going to be populating using this package. So now what we can do is let's go into the, into the rollup definitions and we're going to create our very first rollup definition. So let's go into the app launcher. Let's search for lookup and let's click on lookup rollup summaries. This is where all of our rollup definitions are going to live. Let's click new. And now we're going to pass a few parameters into this definition. The very first is the name. This is whatever you define. We're going to name this annual revenue just to identify it easily later on. The parent object and child objects of the relationship. So in this case, the parent will be the user and the child will be the opportunity. So I'm going to type user here, opportunity in the child object. The relationship field, you're supposed to input what field relates both of these objects. In this case, opportunities related to user via the owner ID field. So I can type in owner ID. The relationship criteria, this is where we're going to filter the opportunities that we're going to roll up to the user. So in this case, I want to roll up the annual revenue. So I want to roll up those opportunities that are closed one and those that have a closed date of this year. So I can type in stage name equals closed one and closed dates equals this underscore year. So this is the SOQL query language. So here in the relationship criteria fields, we're going to type in the fields we have up here, separated by lines. That's all you're going to do for that parameter. Like so, stage name and close date. And now the field to aggregate. This is the field that we're going to be summarizing basically in the parent. So in this case, we're going to be summarizing the amounts summing 
and the aggregate result where are we going to store this result we're going to store it in the annual revenue field we just created annual revenue so we can go ahead and activate this rollup and let's just click save so at this point the rollup definition has been created and the rollup is is working at this point but I'm going to show you that if I go into the user and I refresh notice that annual revenue is still blank because like I said it's not a rollup it's just a currency field that we're populating with this package so in order to populate this field we're going to need to go into the definition and once the definition is created you're going to hit this button that says full calculate and what that does is it launches a massive recalculation counting and rolling up all of those child records to the parent this could take a while depending on the amount of data you have in your organization so once we're in this screen just click run full calculate job we're going to give it a few minutes now if I go into the user and I refresh the annual revenue field should be populated there it is annual revenue so notice that right now I have three three million six hundred forty five thousand so that is the rollup this roll this rollup at this point will become updated uh, based on any records you delete any records you modify any new opportunities you create as long as that owner is populated so if I show you right now it has 3.6 so if I go into an opportunity, let's go modify an opportunity just to show you what that looks like. So this is closed one. And the opportunity owner is Ray. So if I change this amount to anything else, let's say the amount is $10,000. Now if I go into the user, the annual revenue is 3645. If I refresh that, the annual revenue is now 3420, and so on. So this field will now get constantly updated thanks to that package. Thank you guys for watching, and let's keep blazing the trails ahead.